We keep things rolling here on the Sports Cubicle. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. I want to thank you so much for making us a part of your day. And one of the most anticipated days in the sports schedule has finally come and gone, and we have received the presence that is the NFL schedule release. We have seen who's going to play on Sunday night, who's going to play on Monday night, who's going to play on Thursday night, who's going to play on Thanksgiving, who's going to play on Christmas, and every one of the teams in the NFL had their own unique and special way to present their schedule including the Chicago Bears who were parroting all the John Hughes classics like the Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, of course, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So an awesome, what I thought was a very cute, maybe not the best, but all in all a fun release schedule. And it's time to get serious, right? Like taking away all the stuff. I think the Tennessee Titans probably won again in their way that they released the schedule. I think the Chargers did another great job doing the Sims simulator, but the Chicago Bears, have released their schedule and beyond just the John Hughes connection and all the fun that we saw from that, including cameos from rookies, including Caleb Williams and DJ Moore being Ferris Bueller, we now have some travel dates and some days we have to mark on the calendar when it comes to Bears opponents. So why don't we go through, and we'll have time to do win-loss, 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 but I want to just do kind of reactions of what we see in the schedule, what we can anticipate, what we can look forward to, and it starts week one at home against the Tennessee Titans a noon kickoff that is September 8th 2024 Caleb Williams first game in the NFL on the other side will be Will Levis and this is interesting a lot of different matchups the NFL could have gone with for Caleb Williams first game as a starting quarterback in the NFL for the Chicago Bears the charter franchise of the league and it's a soft landing that was my first thought when I saw the Tennessee Titans on the schedule as the opener for the Chicago Bears at home in September feels like like a really nice way for this defense to start for Caleb Williams to get his feet wet in the NFL. All the other rookies that have been drafted from this team and I think a really good way for the Bears to start off the season. A way to start off a competitive team, but a team that's not going to think scare anybody, going to run away with anything, going to be competitive, a Super Bowl contender, but shouldn't be the laughing stock of the NFL. And it being at home, I think that's a good way to start a career for her. Caleb Williams. Maybe not the most exciting or sexy matchup for a Bears fan, but I think in the long term, the long haul for his career for this team, I think that's a great matchup to start off the season. Week two, you have the Houston Texans, a 7-20 game. That is the primetime matchup on Sunday Night Football. CJ Stroud versus Caleb Williams. This is something that maybe you would expect it on week one for a marquee, but a heck of a way for Caleb Williams to get into the spotlight on primetime against another Phenom in the NFL who had an awesome rookie season last season, took his team to the playoffs. This is a easy, marketable matchup for the NFL, for the Chicago market, for the Houston market, for Sunday Night Football, the future of the NFL, the possibilities of two teams that maybe one day, five years from now, have quarterbacks that meet in a Super Bowl, are winning MVPs. You know, the potential is crazy. You know how the marketing machine works in the NFL. So I think that's a great matchup week two, a great test early on. The Bears heading to Houston on Sunday Night Football. CJ Stroud and Caleb Williams. Another Another AFC South matchup, the third straight one. And this one is interesting because it is the Indianapolis Colts in Indy. Kayla Williams versus Anthony Richardson, who is recovering from an injury last season. Again, another matchup. This one's at noon where it's perhaps the future of the league. Top 15 guys five years from now. And the dynamics that they bring to the table. That's a fun matchup. Weird that the NFL scheduled three straight AFC South matchups for the Chicago Bears. But makes sense if you're looking long term and you could go back in the vault when we're doing NFL films. Will Levis, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, all against Caleb Williams back to back to back. I think that's a great long term storytelling when it comes to these matchups at Young QB. Then it's the LA Rams at home. That is September 29th, a noon game. Fun matchup. The Rams are going to be fun. This is a, a team that has a lot of weapons on offense and no longer have that monster, that beast, that one of one and Aaron Donald on the other side. So shouldn't it be the worst of matchups for Caleb Williams, who's, what, just a few months removed from playing in Los Angeles, going against the Rams now. So a fun matchup. The very next week, it is on October 6th, the Carolina Panthers heading to Chicago. What? a matchup what 
storylines have played out for that. Obviously, the trades, the draft over the last two years. Will we be able to see a bounce back for Bryce Young? Bryce Young versus Caleb Williams. What could have been for Carolina? And that is a fun matchup at home. A way for the Bears to kind of bounce back if it's a rough matchup against the LA Rams and what was the gauntlet against the AFC South. Whether or not you like the AFC South or not, is still matchups that you go back to back to back, two of them on the road, and you have Carolina after the Rams. And then you go to London on October 13th and 8.30 time start here in Chicago Jaguars and Bears so obviously Trevor Lawrence versus Caleb Williams and a lot of connections to Khan family to the state of Illinois and the Bears reach globally so they are sending a fun matchup to the Jaguars I think it's also important to note that the Jaguars play better at least typically the last few years when they've done these back to back games in London because they will be playing in London the very next week you want to catch them that first one Because they stayed the full week after that first week in London for the Jaguars, that is. So, I think this is the right time if you're going to play in London to play the Jaguars. A week, seven bye, and then you're on the road against the Washington Commanders. Again, say what you will about the scheduling. Whether or not you like the way it was placed throughout the schedule, we'll get to that at the very end. But, Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams in Washington. What else can you say? One versus two in the NFL draft. Then, on November 3rd, in Arizona, you're going to see so many Bears fans had to see the Cardinals versus the Bears, Kyler Murray, Caleb Williams. Again, you're telling Chicagoans they could leave what might be cold weather. Might still be summertime for all we know, November 3rd in Chicago, but winter time heading to Arizona. So many transplants in Arizona as is that are former Chicagoans. That's a fun matchup too, just stylistically. Kyler Murray versus Caleb Williams. So that's a, a very interesting one. And again, the NFL just always finds a way to win. On November 10th in Chicago, It is the number three pick, Drake May, visiting with the New England Patriots against Caleb Williams, Chicago Bears. This is a noon game, and again, just like we're seeing in that Washington matchup a few weeks back, like we saw in the beginning of the season with the Titans, and more specifically the Texans and Colts, and even with Carolina, a matchup with a young quarterback, try to build the vaults of footage right now, their rookie seasons, who knows what may happen, who knows who may be the ones in this group to carry the NFL over the next 5, 10, 15 years in the future, but these matchups happening early now, marquee matchup, organizations heading in directions where they're in this rebuild, trying to get over a lot of history, and we will now see that matchup in November. Drake Mann, his New England Patriots coming to Chicago against Caleb Williams, Chicago Bears. The next week, we finally see the NFC North. It took until mid-November, but the first NFC North matchup will be a home game against the Green Bay Packers. Jordan Love, Caleb Williams, this is what might be a matchup for the next 10 years, for many division crowns, many big games in the NFC North start on November 17th. A lot of questions have to be answered for every single team in that division. And the NFL, while we might criticize saying that's a long time to hold off NFC and AFC divisional matchups, the fact that we have to wait till November where these games, every single one of them is going to matter, is so diabolically genius by the NFL to give us a Bears-Packers matchup, the first one of the season, so late into the season. Packers-Bears Week 17 at Soldier Field, a noon kickoff. The very next week at home, it is the Minnesota Vikings. J.J. McCarthy and his Vikings taking on Caleb Williams, a noon kickoff again. We're just seeing the rookies, the future of the NFL, who's going to pay off, who's going to be the guys that carry this league. They're building those footage. The NFC North is fascinating. The very next week, some are saying the NFC, not just North, but the NFC favorite, Detroit Lions in Detroit on Thanksgiving. A team that has paid Amon Ra, St. Brown, has paid Jared Goff. They think this is it. They think this is the team. If it's ever going to happen for the Detroit Lions, it's right now. So a a fascinating test for the Chicago Bears late in the season. They will have every eye in America watching them. Hopefully everybody's healthy. Hopefully this is a fun, equal matchup because everybody in America will be watching the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears at 1130 on Thanksgiving this year. What a fun matchup. Then the Bears have to head to the Bay against San Francisco. Look at the other favorite in the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers. That's going to be a test for the Chicago Bears later on in the season. A tough matchup really late in the season. Then the Vikings in Minnesota. Minnesota on December 16th. That is a primetime game at 7 p.m. The following week, it is the Detroit Lions heading to
heading to Chicago. And the day after Christmas, the Seattle Seahawks, Shane Waldron's old team, comes to Chicago. And finally, the last game of the season to be decided, Chicago Bears at Green Bay Packers. Will it be for a playoff spot? Will it be for the division? Will one team be trying to play? Spoiler, it is all on the table, especially this time of year. And there's also room for optimism. There's room to be a little skeptical. But everything is possible right now for all the teams in the NFL. And if you're listening to this specifically as a Chicago Bears fan, the schedule has to excite you for some of these matchups. The schedule has to excite you for moments that the Bears can feed on quote-unquote lower-tier teams. You could win games against Carolina, Jacksonville, Washington, Arizona. When you do have a tough murderer's row against Green Bay, Minnesota, Detroit, San Francisco, you can try to do something to start the season against Tennessee and start off on the right foot. And then two intriguing matchups against one playoff team in the Texans with C.J. Stroud. So there is so much to like, so much to look forward to, so much to talk about, not just about the NFL. But for the first time as a Bears fan, at least that I can remember, that not only are you excited, but you are thinking about possibilities you've never thought about before when it comes to not just a good defense, not just a good special teams, but a good offense that can hang with the teams they're up against. At least this is what I've taken from the schedule release. But I want to know, what did you take from your favorite team's schedule release? We want to know we're on Twitter at SportsCubicle TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube, YouTube.com, The Sports Cubicle. We're all over the universe. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, at The Sports Cubicle, sports from the couch. And, of course, over at HeartlandSignal.com, The Sports Cubicle. We got a whole lot left here on The Sports Cubicle. I'm your host, Mike Mercado.